Okay, 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 okay. I'll do it. Uh, well, don't do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It won't hurt. Oh, I hate lying to babies. Here we are, little Luke. You have a big special badge. That's it. I started. What the hell are you doing here? I started. Not yet, you haven't, so out. I'm going to have a baby. I know that, I'm a doctor, but you're not having it yet. If you don't mind, so out. I don't want you, I want another doctor. Snell. Oh, this is ridiculous. It's supposed to be non stick. Oh, so, deal with this lady, please. What? No, no, I can't. You'll be all right, won't you, Mr. Waring? Thank you. Bye. I'll take you. Uh, I don't want you either. Snell, just get her what she wants and get her out of here. I want the dark-haired one. Which one? We got dozens. The one with the flashy red sports car. She needs Collier. That's the one. Well, you can't have him. Leave him. <laughs> Dr. Collier. I want Dr. Collier. So this woman swore blind to him she was on the pill. Which technically she was, and they weren't birth control pills, they were hormone pills. <laughs> she ended up having sex tuplets. He had to marry her. I tell you, it could happen to any of us. You could get struck off for what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, Dick, it is not going to happen to me. It will if you insist on behaving like a cross between Warren Beatty and a rabbit. Mm. I was going to talk to you about this, Dick. I'm thinking of having a... No, oh, damn. Good uh, idea. Well, really? Yeah, uh, uh, I'll talk to you later. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, you bleed, Mr. Collier. It started. Oh, good. It started. I haven't sank. What is going on? Baby Snell, one of nature's miracles, and one with which I intend to maintain a purely professional relationship. Now, what did you bleep me for? That's him. That's the one. Collier, this lady is pregnant. Yes, yes, I think I'd go along with that. Excellent diagnosis, Dr. Snell. But always wise to seek a second opinion, I agree. She says you're the father. What? <laughs> Now, well, I knew it would happen the way you carry on. If you were a cat, they'd send you to the vet and have you see to. Who is this lady? Oh, Collier, please. No, Lionel, Lionel, I don't know if I'm at it. Lionel! Where is she? It's Dartus! Nurse, don't go. It's Dartus! Oh, yes, Mr. Malone, Mr. Malone, Mr. Malone. Oh, how many times has it started this month? 26. I want the father to be present. Well, it certainly isn't me, madam. I don't know where you got this Paul, idea Paul, from. Paul, Paul, this lady's oh. had five children. Six. Yeah. Mm. Now, as I recall, uh, Professor Stuart Clark fathered the first one, the next two are mine. Back to Stuart Clark with the twins, another one from me, and the next one is yours. We're all in this together. Mass responsibility. <laughs> She's nuts, Paul, but fertile with it. So who is the father? I don't know. I don't think she does either. Poor bloody kids. Duncan, I've been thinking. Can I have a word with you? Yeah, sorry, not now. Catch me this evening. OK. Let's get you a taxi. I'm not going. I know what'll happen. With all these cutbacks, I'll come back and you won't have a bed for me. I'm staying here to make sure I get one. Mmm. Not as mad as I thought. Welcome to the world. What's it like being out here, eh? Hmm? Right, now, where is Rosie? Hand up. Ah! There you are. Now, I know you didn't want to come out the way you did, but it had to be done. You got all tangled up in your cord, didn't you? What were you doing in there, eh? <laughs> Skipping or something, eh? <laughs> anyway, you won't remember a thing about it. I promise you. <laughs> Actually, caesareans tend to be calmer. And they're a lot better looking, too. <laughs> yes, they are. Much better looking than Mr. Turnip over here. <laughs> Mind you, you wouldn't remember Mr. Turnip, would you? 
or whirly gig, or muffin the mule. <laughs> they were all on children's television when I was well, your age. <laughs> Long before Ninja Turtles or Timmy Mallet. <laughs> boy, oh boy, you've got tough times ahead of you, haven't you? I tell you, it's only just begun. <laughs> All right, finish. <laughs> you get by with a little help from your friends. Oh, you can try with a little help from your friends. Everybody, if you need somebody, you just want someone to love. <laughs> and I think you lot will be all right for that. Duncan, I'm going to have a vasectomy. Shh. <laughs> I am. I'm definitely going to have a vasectomy. Shut up. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes. Not in front of them. It's all right. He doesn't mean it. It's just the ravings of a menopausal gigolo. I do mean it. It's all right. You don't have to cry. You're already here. Are you really serious? Yes, yes. I, I spoke to Dick and he thinks I should. In fact, he's going to do it for me. A oh. special favour. A cut price, eh? <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, Duncan, I, I wanted to talk to you about it, you know, to make sure I'm definitely doing the right thing. Not Just... another bloody boy. <laughs> Actually, I think you're a bit late. I know that voice. Yeah. Well, this time she had started and she's finished. Congratulations. You've just become a daddy, in her mind, anyway. Listen, I am not going to become a daddy in anybody's mind or anywhere else. I am definitely going to have the snip. Yes, I shall put a notice in the Times saying, sorry, girls. From now on, Mr. Paul Collier can never, ever father your children. Oh, my goodness me, that'll be a big disappointment to half the bimbos in London, won't it? Bimbos, that's a bit passe. Well, so are you. <laughs> I do not go out with bimbos. Yes, you do. I don't. Oh, say you do, please. It's the only consolation us married men have. <laughs> if I thought they were intelligent as well, I couldn't stand it. Do you really envy me? No. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I suppose if you're with them, yes. And if you're not with them, well, it must be pretty lonely stuff, huh? <coughs> Hanging around at singles bars and discos like some geriatric John Travolta. I do not hang around singles bars. Don't you? I don't. Oh, I've always wanted to. Sounds quite fun. No, well, I honestly couldn't imagine life without this lot. <laughs> Why do they always look like Winston Churchill? I'm sorry, Duncan, but I just have no paternal instincts. That's because you don't have any soul, Paul. What do you mean, soul? Well, it's like Louis Armstrong said about rhythm. If you gotta ask, you ain't got it, yeah. <laughs> well, all I know is I wouldn't want to be a father. Uh, you might if you met the right woman. Oh, come on. <laughs> Me? Three times married, three times divorced, and fat chance. What could happen tomorrow? I mean, you could be loitering around some sleazy singles bar. Duncan. Well, loitering across a crowded room. <laughs> Suddenly, she sees you. Bing! Oh, Paul, I want you to be father of my child. Sorry, love. No longer possible. <laughs> You'd have to get a surrogate in. Mind you, I suppose if she's pretty, I'd do the job for you. Thank you. I don't want one of your brats. My kids are all right. Yes, this is rather a lot of them. Ah, they're lovely. You know, you come here a lot, don't you? Especially at night. Yeah. Why? Gets me away from home. 